What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. And you know what? Look, I got my nephew with me. Hey, ain't none of all of that. We gotta build it up. You see him. I'm gonna go ahead and let him introduce himself. After that, we finna get right into this video. Yep, I'm happy to have you here in Virginia. Uh, welcome again. Thanksgiving's right around the corner, a week from today. Uh, a week from yesterday, actually. But we got a turkey for you guys today. It's the big day, so we're gonna show you guys how to deep fry a nine pound turkey. Hey, you know what? It's the deep fry. You know what? I get so many people, you know, on my channel like, hey, A.B., how come you don't ever deep fry? To be honest with you, you know what? I love to smoke meat. You know, a smoked turkey is the best. But the second, is, you know, running a close second of that would be just like deep frying. Super easy. And I just want to show you guys this right here. Listen, my nephew just happened to have like a, a super large, you know, indoor deep fryer. This right here, I really want to show it because look, I know we all watch these videos and they talk about you know, it's dangerous. Uh, it's dangerous and all that kind of stuff. Listen, when it's prepared right, obviously we're going to do it right here on top of this counter right here. Super easy. If you guys want to get yourself one of these, I'll put a link up. You guys can look into that. But just like super easy, big on taste. I feel like I'm rambling, nephew. Yeah. So look, let's Also get the safest way to do it, comes together really quick. This bird's going to fry in about 30 minutes. We're going to season it, inject it. That's major. Get all the flavor going and uh, make it happen. Let's, <laughs> I like it, man. <laughs> hey, let's do it. Just to recap it, look, the bird only weighs about nine pounds. This is like, I guess it won't be like as traditional as there, you know, because when I get down from my house, you know, we like to see them 14, 15, 16 right. pounds, stuff like that, right? But just for this, you know, for this video right here, we just want to show this. Now, look, I'm gonna let you explain to those and show just the op options that we have. Yep, so we're gonna inject the turkey first. So you got a couple options. You can get one of these from the store, kill two birds with one stone, no pun intended. Mm. Uh, it comes with an uh, injector already. Pretty good product, I used to use it, but today we're gonna make our own. Uh, and we're gonna do that with some melted butter. So we're gonna go into a measuring cup with one stick of melted butter. So to that butter, we're gonna go in with a couple cups of chicken broth or chicken stock. Either one will work just fine. And this right here, hey, as you guys can see, especially if you've been following me, I do everything more on the Cajun side right here, and I gotta come with the, uh, you know, the Creole kit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour that mixture of chicken broth and butter into this uh, protein shaker bottle that I haven't been using as often as I should be. <laughs> and I'm gonna get you to dump some of that seasoning on in there. There you go. Now look, you guys are gonna ask me, for me, I'll just give it a, I don't know, I'm gonna just say. Until it feels right. Hey, I, I love your verbiage, nephew. <laughs> hey, that's it right there. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this in here. Listen, and that's salted butter. Don't forget, the Creole kick is low on that sodium, right? So with a little bit of that sodium in there from that butter, that right there just wakes that up. So we're just gonna shake this up and then we're gonna break out our uh, injector and play doctor. Okay? You got to taste that too. Taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. So mm -hmm. if you were to taste it and it was too salty, you could add a little bit more chicken stock to calm there it down go. a little there bit. You go. There you go. You could use just a little bit more. A little bit more seasoning. So we're gonna shake that up and then we're gonna fill the syringe and uh, inject the turkey. We wanna make sure you uh, distribute this evenly so just fill your syringe or your, your injector. Syringe sounds a little uh, aggressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we're gonna start with these drums. Just add a little bit of that Cajun butter in there with that chicken broth. Move the needle around. Hit it on a couple different spots. And if you wanna spend a little extra attention on the breast, I think that's a good idea because the breast tends to be the drier part of the chick uh, turkey. Almost said chicken how small this one is. <laughs> You're right. I'm gonna do this hug. If you're gonna over inject in a spot, the breast would be the spot to do it. Cause like I said earlier, the breast tends to be the drier part of the turkey. So I'll just go in. I go in, pull back just a little bit, and then I start injecting, right? I want you guys to pay attention to how it, see how it does right here? It'll kind of like swell up. That's my, that's what I'd be looking for. Just when it get plump. And to be honest with you, it's best, look, best practice is just to be right. Then once you got it plump like that, cause when you pull it out, you know it's how it like, like that, so really you're supposed to just pull back just a little bit. But these are like little fine little details that we do. You know what I mean? This just come with like doing this, you know, 10, 15 years. I go in, pull back just a little bit, and then I just inject. And I like to see that swell that lets me know that this liquid, whatever we using has, you know, went all over and we want to get it in every piece. All right. No dry, boring, bland turkeys on our Thanksgiving table. Hey, that's right, man. And then if you notice, when we both pull out of here, we keep our finger over the injection site, right? That stops from all of that. And then it lets everything settle in, because listen, we don't want to have a whole lot of liquid going inside of, you know, inside of the uh, air fryer. Excuse right. me, inside of the deep fryer. 
Okay, so what we did was we just flipped it over, right? Hit it with a few injections on the bottom side just to ensure it's the holiday. We want to be over the top with it, right? What we're going to do is I'm going to use some Creole Kick and we're going to use some of this AP seasoning. Hey, nephew, <laughs> I got while we using that too. <laughs> That's right. Hey, it's fire. You know what I mean? Uh, that right there. It's a blend of uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. So just nice, you know, basic all-purpose seasoning, good for the bottom coat of the uh, for the turkey, and then we'll go on with the Creole Kick on top. All right, go ahead. Lift the leg up. You just want to get nice, even coverage. Season from up high. Hey, when I hold stuff up like this, you know, I get to thinking about them briskets and stuff like that. But it's the same thing. We just want to get a little coverage. All right, so we flipped it over on this side. Now we're gonna just do the same thing. A nice even layer of the all-purpose seasoning, which is again, a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. You can get this on my website for anybody interested. All right, <clears throat> now we'll do the same. And then we'll just give that about 15 minutes or so, let the seasoning kind of soak into the, to the turkey before we put it in the deep fryer. So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck the wings. We just tuck it underneath the bottom. So when you tie the turkey uh, drums or turkey legs up like that, it holds the, makes the bird more compact, helps it cook more evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I might as well say this too. Listen, we already up to temp. 350 degrees, right? So you wanna drop it in the oil for about 15, 20 seconds. And what that does is it helps prevent the turkey skin from sticking to the grate. The grate's already kind of positioned the way that you wanna lay the turkey in there. Right. Feet this way. And you want to slowly drop that into the oil. I like the way you say it slowly. Yep. So I'll start easing it down as well. Yep. And now, now it's time to get in the get hot the tub. It is a little bit on the safe side. Yep. And you see that breast is fully submerged. That's what you want to see. That's how much oil you need to have in there. That way that breast cooks evenly. Say good night. This is how you judge this, right? Hey, man, this smells good. Uh, hey, right off the back. Okay, so listen, we told you it was nine pounds, right? So the general rule is, since we deep frying, we going what, three to five, right? Three to five, pa three to five minutes per pound. Per pound, there you go. So look, we'll just take four, and four times nine is what? 36, and we'll put it here, look. So we know we don't want to go past 36 minutes, right? So look, I'm gonna say we start looking at it at about, 30 minutes, that, right. you know what I mean? We'll start doing that, and then we'll use your meat uh, thermometer to just make sure that the meat is done in the breast area, right? Yep. So you want your chick, you want your uh, turkey breast to be about 165, and you want the dark meat to be 175. And the way it's positioned in the deep fryer is perfect because the, the uh, breast part is at the top, so it's getting a little bit less heat, so to cook a little bit slower. So this is designed perfectly. Uh, absolutely. And I, I don't want to lose focus on this part about this being this video. I just wanted to show how safe it is when you have the right equipment that you can deep fry in the pad. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Hey, so listen, I'm super proud. I know my nephew's super proud of what we just accomplished, right? Listen, we accomplished by, you know, coming out with a co-author cookbook. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, the cookbook is just... Hey, it took us about, what, about nine, ten months. Yeah, almost yeah, a year. Almost a year, you know, to make it right here. I'm going to let him talk about that. And also, listen, my boards, they just released. I read all the comments, and I know I put out a few hints out there telling everybody the 19th, right? Which is, actually, that's when they launched. But uh, first, we're going to talk about the cookbook, and then we'll go right into the board. Yeah, so like he said, the, the cookbook was about a year in the making. We've been working on it. The idea kind of came up about a year ago when we first started collaborating together. Um, so it's been a, you know, a long time coming. There's over 90 recipes in here uh, we got everything covered from breakfast lunch dinner holiday recipes this is going to ship to you guys before uh before christmas is the goal hey, not to cut you off but check it out this deep fry uh, recipe right here yes sir it's in Bam. here so uh all the stuff that's been on our channel you know a lot of recipes from the channel are in here a lot of new recipes are in here as well over 90 recipes the first thousand copies is going to be free shipping so grab yours now the link's in the description box and in the first pinned comment. Hey, listen, they make for a great gift, you guys. Hey, now for those of you guys that don't want to have everything like in the ebook, you know, want to have something, that's why we went ahead and made like a table style book. Right. You know what I mean? Actually, that's what it's called, a table book. Okay, so you guys can see, you know what I mean? So you can get it just up close and personal, right? Listen, that's been laser. These are smoking and grilling with AB Custom. Listen, this is my signature series board, right? Listen, we use five, uh, this is five hardwoods right here. All of these are exotic woods. 
and I want to show this part too. I never really showed this part, but listen, for those of you guys that use cutting boards, you know how we put tiles under the bottom and all that to keep them from moving around. Hey look, we put the feet on the bottom, stainless steel, you know, screws, the whole shebang. Hey look, great quality. You can hear they solid. I can promise you this, no two boards are the same. And also this area over here, Listen, we want to have an option where you guys can add, like, if you're giving it to the gift, you can customize it there. You can take some of my scenes. Hey, that's fire. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. That's an option, too. Hey, with that being said, I'm not going to over talk y'all. I just want to say happy holidays, and let's get it. The timer just went off. We're going to go ahead and raise this up, and we want to check the temperature, right? The best way to do this is a digital food thermometer. I have my own. You can grab it on my uh, website as well. as 20% off right now with the code Make It Happen at checkout. We're looking for about 165 degrees internal temperature on the breast, right at about 170, right at about 165, 168. So right where we want to be. Now we want to let this rest for about 30 minutes before we slice into it. It's not my fault. Okay, so you guys can see, listen, we just put the turkey on top of some, you know, a platter, you know, uh, use some kale. This is just give you guys some ideas. Hey, it would have been nice too if we had some orange slices. And then if you got little you know, cranberries, all of that kind of stuff like that, right? Hey, but listen, when you deep fry, listen, you're talking about crispifying I like that word right there crispifying you know even getting this skin real nice look that's all of the seasoning that was on top that's that AP and that Creole kick right there look that combination along with that heat makes this fire now listen I know I'm doing a lot of talking nephew I see you over there with that long blade ah yeah pass it on to you to do the honors oh that's it right there there you go hey it won't take me long I'm gonna go ahead and just cut me a slice Ooh. My goodness, I don't need no big slice. I do. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh man. You know, I like to travel with my blade, but I didn't want to check, check no baggage, so. You can see the juice just dripping, look at that. Oh my goodness. I want you guys to take a look at that right there, look. When I squeeze like that, look at that. You see that right there? This is what I'm talking about. And that's on the end of the bird, so that's probably the driest piece on this. <laughs> oh my goodness. But on the real nephew. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Mm. It don't get better than that. It don't. Ooh, ooh, good work. You guys gotta give this recipe a try for Thanksgiving. These butterball turkey fryers work great on the inside. Uh, safe, a little bit safer than doing it outdoors also. But that recipe right there, as you would say, I gotta is double fire. Up, man. That's fire. This right here was fire, youngster. You know what I mean? Uh, I gotta, hey, I didn't even wanna call you nephew. I'm just gonna say, hey, this right here is where it's at. You know, super moist. And listen, when you guys inject, it's, Whatever you inject with, that's the flavor you're gonna have there. And I know some of you guys probably were thinking like, when you inject, you're injecting with that moisture, it's like water, it's gonna make an explosion. As you see, it wasn't even violent. Yep. Uh, super safe. Super safe, bro. That was really the focus of this video, man. Everybody. One thing to call out though, since we've done it on the countertop, if you got kids at home, you probably wanna keep it out of their reach. You don't want them pulling the cord, but the cord is child proof, so it comes right out for those of you that might be thinking that too. Absolutely. It's a pretty safe uh, tool to use in the kitchen. Yes, absolutely. Hey, you know what, now that you say that, now I understand why every time I sneeze or walk by or look <laughs> it at it too out. long, it just comes out. Yep. That's right, that's the safety mechanism. Hey, with that being said, listen, don't forget, you can pre-order our cookbook, right? Listen, co-authored, listen, it's the best of both worlds. Reason we say it like that, look, it's a lava media production, right? The lava stands for LA to VA and everything in between. Yes, sir. Hey, right off the back, man, just lava hands down says it all, man. 
We got over 90 recipes in here. It's crazy looking at this because we worked we worked on it for you know over a year, just about from you know the actual talking about it, probably nine months of actual work putting the recipes together and all that good stuff. Uh, but we started talking about this over a year ago. So about a year's worth of work is into this. This is my first cookbook, his first cookbook. We've done a few ebooks, but this is the first hard copy cookbook. We want you guys to get it for the holidays. Over 90 recipes included from two of your favorite YouTube chefs. And also, not to just like beat you guys down, don't forget the boards are ready for pre-order too. Listen, as I get them, we got like a, man, I got a ton of uh, emails today about it. You know, it just released. Everything will be down in the description box below and it'll be pinned in the number one comment. So look, pick up the cookbook, make a great gift. And then for those of you guys that's in the kitchen, even the boards make a great gift. Links will be down in the number one comment also. Listen, I got some bread behind the counter, you know, behind the camera. Look, it got a little bit of that mayo. Now I'm on the East Coast right now. So what's your mayo? Duke's man. Hey, it's all the same to me. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, nephew? Happy Thanksgiving, bro. Same to you, and same we to you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace.